So can you tell us a little bit about the, the gorillas that you have here at Blackpool? Yep, yeah, we've got one silverback male, he's called Bacavu, and he arrived in 1987. And we've got four females, and um, we have Injima, um, Maliki, who's just had um, a little baby gorilla who's called Maisie, and she was one in May. And then we also have Injima as well. And the breeding programme that you have at the zoo, um, is all the breeding by the apes natural or is some of it artificial just to help them along? Um, we do try and let them carry out their natural behaviours um, to reproduce on their own but we do have some um, contraceptive methods and um, one of our gorillas is on the pill so that just means that um, she can't breed and um, that's because she's slightly older I think. Mm. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's been quite successful. And the Kavu and Maliki have had little Maisie there, and she's now one. Mm -hmm. And what happens when a female ape gives birth to a baby? Do they rise higher up the... They do, yeah. Whenever they give birth, um, they'll rise up the hierarchy of the gorillas. So we have the silverback male, and then all the females are below him. Um, he's normally in charge and he controls the movements of the group but whenever a female gorilla has her babies then she will move up so none of the other females will um, touch her. However, they do sometimes um, help each other to look after the young um, as they grow older. And where do these apes originate from? They come from Africa in areas such as the Congo. These are western lowland gorillas, so they're found in the lower um, areas of the forest. There are other species such as the mountain gorilla and they tend to have longer coats, obviously, because it's um, slightly colder in the mountain areas. Um, so there are different species. And are these endangered? They are at the moment. They are endangered. Um, their numbers are decreasing due to bushmeat trade. Um, a lot of bushmeat gets imported to the UK. 11.5 tonnes um, gets imported. And that's not just gorilla meat. That's also other types of bushmeat, such as antelopes. Um, and uh, other game, um, so they are in serious trouble at the moment. We do support the Diane Fossey Gorilla Foundation that goes towards helping um, protect the habitat and at the moment there's a lot of roads that go through the habitats to move um, trees and logs that have been cut down um, and they're trying to join up all those different fragments of habitat together so that the gorillas are more protected, they have um, more areas to hide in and um, also they educate the local schools and uh, the local people of that area um, about the plight of the gorilla.